Mm, does it have an R? It doesn't have an R, okay. So, here, more better. Oh, shoot, Bob, I need to do my physics, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome to chapter 33. I'm gonna be going over problem number 11 over a snail's law. So I have this complicated thing right here, and I wanna know in which way the light rays are going, and find out the refraction of an unknown thing. Okay, so first thing we need to do is find out this angle so I can start using my formulas and find out the refraction factor of this thing. So, I go here, I use this formula that I have right here. I know the refraction of water, I know the angle it makes, so to do this personally my angle, okay, the R equals 90 minus 65, that comes out to 25, yes. So now from here, what I'm going to do is, and S sine 25 over 1.33 sine of 48, and S is going to be equal to 2.34, so that's the refraction of this thing. We're good. Okay, now I want to... Okay, now I want to know which way the rays going to go coming out of the water into the air. So, I'm going to use the same formula. I have my refraction of water, 1.33 sine of 48. Refraction of, air is, refraction of air is 1 sine of theta, because I don't know, that's what I'm looking for. So, if I write the final range is going to be theta equals sine negative 1 of 1.33 sine of 48 and theta is going to equal to 82 degrees. 